Hey there, Dan Carlton here with Planner U and the Paragraph Project. So when Dwayne Wade and LeBron James were both at their prime playing in the Miami Heat, um, they could obviously put up big numbers. That wasn't ever a question. But um, when they started playing together, they started to get into this little friendly rivalry around efficiency. So it wasn't so much about who could put up the biggest numbers, but who could be uh, the most productive per possession. Um, so they really focused on this idea of you know, getting the most out of every possession, being very efficient with the ball and with their shot selection. And it was an interesting idea that really kind of drove them uh, and, and kind of forced them to kind of rethink their game. Efficiency is something that we rarely think about when it comes to managing our brands or our businesses. We think about growth. Um, and as we think about 2020, one of our focuses, uh, most likely for most people and most business owners and entrepreneurs and, and brand managers, is how do we grow what we have? And growth doesn't always lead to efficiency. We think that growing is going to make things simpler and more um, efficient and streamlined and um, all of these kind of wonderful outgrowths of growth is going to be about um, just providing freedom and, and simplicity. The reality is that it's usually quite the opposite. Um, so one thing I'd have you consider is thinking about efficiency as your goal for 2020. So how do you become more efficient with what you do with uh, how you make money uh, and efficiency can lead to growth, uh, maybe uh, better than growth can lead to efficiency. So uh, that's one thing that I'm gonna be focusing on in 2020. Just wanted to share that thought with you is um, don't get so obsessed about how fast you're growing. Like you can kind of go you know, up and down, up and down, up and down, um, really trying to hit this big revenue target when maybe what you need to do is just have a little bit more of kind of a consistent um, tra trajectory when it comes to um, growth and figuring out how do you make things more streamlined and more efficient and maybe take some modest gains compounded over time rather than looking for big wins where you kind of have a lot of uh, variability in your success, uh, which adds a lot of uh, stress and frustration um, along the way. So think about that 2020, uh, for me anyway, it's gonna be all about the year of efficiency and just getting really um, focused on, on making the most with what we have rather than um, trying to go after these huge revenue goals that may come with it a lot of uh, kind of chaos. Uh, that's what I have for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.